Welcome. I'm Shannon. And I'm Ron. And together we are Our Morning View. An RV journey. This well, is episode one. Of many episodes yet to come. So be kind as we're learning. We wanted to take a few minutes to kind of introduce ourselves a little bit and tell you about um, some of our experience. Um, I grew up camping. I grew up in the Pacific Northwest on Vancouver Island and I always camped with my family. And I grew up in the Midwest where we also camp from tents to trailers, but we were always camping. We met 28 years ago, almost 28 years ago, and we have always been camping. We have always been camping. We started off in tents. We started off in tents on the island of Guam, out of the beach. And then we moved to Texas and we did trailers and fifth wheels. And truck campers. And truck campers. And now we're in the Pacific Northwest and we're on our second Class A motorhome. Our forever motorhome, I hope. We upgraded to a Class A once the kids left for our college and flew the nest. I am a retired Navy. I currently work uh, in the Pacific Northwest with the large aerospace industry. And I'm a nurse practitioner and I work in healthcare doing primary care. Currently our plan is to hit the road in a couple of years and travel throughout the United States, up through Canada, maybe down into Mexico, and just really explore what North America has to offer. She says one to two years, but we keep watching other YouTubers and really, really, it's it's hard to stay home. <laughs> It is hard to stay it's, home. It's really hard. It's like every every time I see somebody, I'm like, we just need to go. But it's not our time yet, so. One of the reasons that this change came about and we made these a decision to kind of change things up is the 2020 pandemic hit. Uh, we were watching, I was watching a lot of news and decided that I needed to do something different and I flipped over to YouTube and I found... <laughs> All these YouTubers who were my age and doing exactly what I wanted to do, which is travel and see things and explore local places and just experience life. I had lived the American dream and had gone to school and had a great career and have we have great kids, but I was left drained at the end of the day with running on the treadmill, the hamster wheel of life. So as I said before, I'm retired Navy and we've lived overseas for eight years of our marriage. We've traveled all over the world and we, we've explored. And now, uh, after eight years overseas, we came back and we've been in the States for almost 20 years in, in two locations, 16 years in the Pacific Northwest. and. I feel like I'm getting older and it's time to get out and see more because I, I miss that and I think Shannon misses that. We fell into, after spending our early marriage years overseas and exploring other areas, we came back to the United States and we had kids and they were in school and we wanted to give them roots. Um, we thought that was really important for them to feel grounded. And in the meantime, we kind of lost that traveling spirit that we both is an underlying current for both of us, I believe. So we're ready to downsize, right size. As the kids grew older, we accumulated, we had roots, we were settled in a house, we kept accumulating stuff. And I kept saying I need less stuff, but everybody likes, everybody likes their stuff. I like my stuff. And we started watching Marie Kondo and we started kind of implementing her method within our house. Right. And we got rid of a lot of things that weren't right for us anymore that we were holding on to because of sentimental reasons. And we let go of a lot of things. We did. And... 
it was pretty freeing. It was very liberating. It was very liberating. We started watching other YouTubers, and they were downsizing, and they they kind of showed us what we needed to do to get ready to maybe go, you know, to go full time. And I gotta say, it's very liberating to get rid of this stuff. Uh, the house looks better. There's less stress. Uh, we we just had stuff that I mean, stuff that you haven't touched in years. But you hold on to it. And Duplicates and triplicates yeah, of things. You know. And things that people give you that you feel like you can't get rid of. And things don't make you happy. We kind of coined in a little phrase, uh, I guess about six months ago, that we're not buying anything new unless it'll go in the RV. That's not to say, you know, there are going to be those, those odd things, but for the most part, if it doesn't go in the RV, we're not getting it. We decided to start the YouTube channel to kind of show you our process, where we're at, what we're doing as we continue to downsize and keep the things that are right for us in our life and let go of those things that we don't have a need for anymore. And as we get ready to move into our class a motorhome and we'll give you a tour of our motorhome in a future episode um and show you what at what i refer to as my rolling apartment have you uh have, have you downsized uh, do you have any recommendations for people who are downsizing if you do please leave a comment below and and give us your your thoughts um, for now, we have the YouTube channel that is getting up and running, and we are slowly getting social media up and running, so be on the lookout for Facebook and Instagram and all of the social media avenues, and I think that wraps up this episode. Oh, so if you like this content and uh, you'd like to see more, uh, please hit the bell and subscribe and... Like the video. And the like the video and... We'll see you next we'll time. We'll see you next time.